At the China Open last year, Karoline Wozniacki overcame Czech Petra Kvitova in the quarterfinals, thereby becoming world number one for the first time. Becoming number one was a long-term goal for the glittering Dane, who's still only a mere 20 years old. And it's hard to understand that it's only eight years ago she discovered her own potential. I think uh, already in a young age, I mean, when I was 10 years old, I won the under 12 Danish championships, uh, six love, six love, all my matches. So already then I knew that I could do something better than others. Now though, she's living the life of a champion and she's a hero in her home country, Denmark. She became the first player ever from the small Northern European nation to claim the number one spot, something that perhaps can trigger future success for the Danes. Oh, I'm sure that a lot of young kids started playing, especially in Denmark, um, because they, they see me on TV often and, and that makes them want to be, you know, tennis players as well. So I'm sure that it has helped the, the tennis in general. Oh, I, I feel really good and I, it, it feels nice to be the role model also for the young kids playing. And, and I'm, it's an individual sport and I'm just trying to do the best as I can. But being the only Danish player at the top of the women's game is not easy. There are no teammates for her to train with and talk to. However, she has found another solution to that problem. I've always practiced with the guys and that's always helped me and I've always practiced with, with someone who plays better than me. So, I mean, uh, it would be very nice if there was more Danish players on tour uh, so I could talk to them and have a good team spirit. But, but I'm used to getting friends around the world, so that's okay for me. Regardless of her success, Caroline remains humble in regards to her tennis career and despite being world number one, she has never won a Grand Slam. But if you ask Caroline, that is not what matters the most. I think the most important thing is uh, that you play well and that you keep practicing hard and you improve. But of course, you want to win as well when you, when you practice hard. So, so that means a lot to me and I have small goals for myself all the time. For the championship, Karolina Wozniacki. Wozniacki defending her title from last year. And how fittingly the big serve does it. The crowd are on their feet. In the end, a quite comfortable victory here, taking the Rodgers Cup in straight sets. Inevitably, a Grand Slam is bound to come her way. Caroline has her eyes firmly set on one special trophy. Wimbledon. I think Wimbledon is the, the competition I would love to win the most.